So today we are going to start a mantle build. And this mantle is actually, should be pretty cool. Um, I've done a handful of mantles in the past. This is on a stone wall that actually has a stone mantle that's coming out. Stone mantle's a little bit goofy. So the client wanted an old, rustic, kind of beat up uh, mantle. So originally the plan was to just get some two by tens, normal dug for construction lumber, two by tens, and just beat them up. It was a pretty cheap build. I think I was charging 600 bucks. Um, but then I showed the client a uh, table that I've done and my countertops that I've made. I think there's a video link somewhere, probably put one. Uh, and it is out of about a hundred year old dug fir beams. They're true dimensional two by beams. Uh, really cool, really unique. I'll throw some pictures up. And I still have quite a bit of stock. They were rescued out of a warehouse from downtown Fresno. And I think they're pretty awesome. So here they are. That's them right there. They are massive. And so what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut some up and start building a mantle. So let me get a couple of saws and the forklift so I can unload this thing. And we'll see how it all works out. This is the annoying part. I can't stand loading and unloading lumber, but you gotta do it, so let's do it. I'll show you what I'm looking and not looking for. So being that this stuff is so old, again, it's at least 100 years old, you'll see it in the ring patterns later. So I'm looking for stuff that doesn't have these huge cracks. I'm obviously gonna have to fill some stuff. I'm thinking about backing some of it with plywood, but I need 10 inches. They're about six, the mantle's about six feet long, 10 inches wide, 10 inches thick. And I'm just gonna make a box. So. I don't want this piece because it is, uh, you know, got a huge split in it. a minute and highlight this circular saw it is an amazing saw it is called the evolution rage i know it's a really cheesy name you can see the tiger scratches on it there but this thing they're not sponsors by any means but they it, this thing cuts through metal and wood at the exact same speed you can see what it does to this nail here it's just a great saw
I just want to take a minute and say thank you for watching. My name is Ryan Paneer with Ironwood Outfit, and during this fun and exciting sanding sped up video, uh, again, just thanks for watching. I recently started making videos. I really enjoy it. I love being a part of the maker community here on YouTube. And so if you would do me a favor, if you like what you saw, subscribe, share the video. Uh, it really does help. There is a link to my website and a lot of other stuff in the description. There's a Patreon link as well where you can support the channel. So again, I just want to say thank you. around the same time. Yeah. Um, anyway, so if I did a really good job. fits perfectly together but you can distress it really easily and I'll have a video coming out soon to explain that whole process so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any of that. So, I have this thing finished. It's got probably, I don't know, four or five coats of Danish oil on it. This is the front. It is kind of a semi-gloss. I just, the last two coats of Danish oil were really, really thinned. Um, and I just left them on there. I'll probably buff this out just a little bit. But this is the top. This is the front. If I roll it over, this is the bottom, and obviously this is the back that sleeves onto the mantle that they already have.
so here are some final shots of the mantle installed a couple different angles these are in the client's house you can see there the edge that's all distressed after i uh, planed it and sanded down again another video coming soon to explain all that but this is it thanks again for watching and here is a good example of what it's like to work alone So happy I was recording that. <laughs>